So TG back again, what's going on guys? I guess I should have started this video from the very beginning, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so back again, guys. What you see in front of you is my new, well, it's not new, it was used when I bought it, but workstakes, work, workstation computer that I use to do all my video editing and stuff like that. A little fun thing about Strategic that a lot of you may or may not know, but I'm really good with my hands. I'm learning how to be good with like construction and stuff like that. So I, you know, renovate my bathrooms and stuff by myself, but I'm also very good at technology. I'm not a software guy. I'm not like a hacker or something like that. I'm not going to, you know, write code and, you know, break into the Russian databases for the American government, but I'm really good with hardware. So the good thing about a workstation is that you get to upgrade it. They're really, really thick. They're not slim computers like what, um, you know, people will buy to look sexy. They're made for CAD. And what is CAD? CAD is computer assisted design. But if you can, if your computer is powerful enough to handle doing 3d animations you know engineering cars and airplanes or making like animation create um characters for movies and stuff it's more than enough powerful for you to do youtube videos and stream content which is what i'm using this for the but one of the, the good things about these workstation computers is that they're made to be upgraded you can actually open them up and upgrade them which is something you can't do with regular laptops so I don't know, people may not be interested in this, but I'll just give you guys a quick walkthrough of what you're looking at, just in case you're curious about it. So what do I have in my hand here? This is actually the heat sink. This is what removes all that hot temperature away from your processor and your GPU, your graphics processing unit. So you can see it has copper, copper is very conductive, a copper plate where you see this gray matter is, that's actually the heat, that's actually what's called the thermal paste. And as you can see from this picture, they put too much thermal paste on this chip. So it's a good thing that I opened it up and uh, took a look at it because uh, that's way too much thermal paste. That's not good at all. I'm going to have to clean some of that off. And then you see the copper go into this fan here. See, I'm spinning the fan with my finger. Yeah, that's what keeps everything cool. So I'll take this and I'll put this to the side. Put that right over there on my nice couch so my couch get dirty. And just point a few things out. This is the GPU. It's in what's called MXM. 3.0 B as in boy format. So if you want to replace your GPU, you'd have to get one that conforms to that format and it'll just slide right in here into this PCI Express type fitting right there, right? So this right here is a Quattro 3100 K3100M. That's a really powerful computer um, graphics chip for doing production back in 2014, 2015, when this computer was originally manufactured. So you guys know Strategic is on a budget. I'm not a rich YouTuber. I'm not getting any money to do what I do. So the best I could do is to have gotten a 2015 computer where your favorite YouTubers, they're probably spending like four or $5,000 on their workstations. They got the highest, the fastest chips and all that stuff. It is what it is. Over here, this is an Intel processor. This is actually running a i5-4340 mx chip or mq chip i believe so this chip is actually pretty good it's a dual core chip it's running at 2.9 gigahertz with a turbo boost speed of 3.6 i believe whatever i don't know it's got a nice turbo turbo boost piece uh, speed the only problem is that when you start doing stuff like streaming to different platforms it's best to have a quad core chip even more i mean in this day and age you can have amd and intel chips that have shoot i mean wow 9 10 15 20 different cores this is older computer it's not compatible with that you see right here got some damage that's from the previous owners but i don't care that's not a big deal so what i did was i went on ebay and i i paid like 500 dollars for this computer and because it's a workstation it's upgradable the cpu is not soldered like you know welded onto this board this main board, this is all the main board. I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of education on computers while you're looking. So this is removable. You see the screw here? I just unscrew that. This lid will pop up. And yeah, why don't we do that right now? I just don't want to hurt the PCU, the CPU, excuse me, because I'm actually going to sell this bad boy on eBay. I am going to sell this bad boy on eBay when I'm done <laughs> to recoup some of the costs that I spent. So here we go. Uh, I guess it's like one of those. 
I should I saw it shift and move so I don't I've never dealt with this type of before I've never actually remove a CPU from a laptop so I'm gonna do that when I don't have this phone in my hand because it's very delicate and there are tiny 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 little pins on the back of this CPU that have to make contact and if you destroy the pins or you just you destroy the pin receptacles where the pins actually sink into you destroy the computer and or you destroy the chip this chip is actually worth a good seventy dollars on ebay which is amazing for a chip that's you know almost six years old so i definitely want to resell that because somebody can actually use it like i'm using this you know they can give it a second life so what i did was like i told you i went on ebay and I purchased a i7-4810 MQ chip. And that is a four core chip that's running 2.8 gigahertz. It's actually 0.1 gigahertz less than this chip. This chip is running at 2.9 gigahertz, but that's okay because this chip only gives me two cores. The new chip that I'm gonna put in here is gonna give me four cores, four physical cores that are running at 2.8 with of course a turbo boost well into the threes gigahertz range over three gigahertz range so that means i'll be able to stream video edit video do all this stuff at the same time this computer also all already has 16 gigs of memory it's amazing this chip is good enough for what i'm using right now the upgrade to it is the 51 the k5100m unfortunately that chip is going for 300 dollars on ebay i wish i could afford it but if at that point i just had paid a little bit more for a more modern laptop used workstation than just upgrading this old one you know because you know if, at, at an 800 dollar price point i would have got a workstation probably from like 2017 2018 with totally new chips and all of that stuff and it just would have been a, a, a blowout workhorse so this is just fine this is actually retailing for like a buck 80 on ebay so it's still a very good chip quattro trips chips hold their value for a very long time because they're the very the most sought after chips in production period even old Quattro trips are able to do the job as I see how smooth and effortless um, my streams are looking lately and when I'm editing videos how fast this happens it's only going to get faster after I change this so I have to take all of this apart just to change this one chip here we're going to be leaving that one and also while I'm here I'm just going to take that time to clean everything here but what I noticed when I was taking this computer apart is a lot of this screws were not tightened very much the screws in the chassis so what that means to me is that the company that refurbished this either there were some components that were broken and they changed them which i don't care a computer works if a computer works that's all that matters but it's very clean in here so whoever refurbished this computer this is a six-year-old computer that was most likely probably used 24 hours a day like these these usually never turn off because when you're rendering and stuff sometimes you have to leave it on for hours for it to continue for it to finish its rendering and stuff like that when you're doing designs and stuff number crunching scientific work the computer stays on 24 hours a day crunching those numbers so it appears that they cleaned it and that's awesome because that means that they did a judge that means that they did a good job and i'm very grateful for that what's this this is probably some antenna or something I'm going to leave that alone because I don't know what that is. Let me take a peek under here. All right. I don't know. I'll just leave it alone. <laughs> Let it rock. So anyway, that's it. That's it. I appreciate you guys checking in with me. Just giving you a heads up. So if I do a stream in the next few days, then um, I'll probably be using the other computer unless I have, unless I don't want to sleep and I decide to just do this all night. Who knows? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But Godspeed and wish me luck. Maybe I might touch something wrong and this whole thing will blow up. Who knows? I don't know. Strategic out. Peace.